Hello, this is video 30 and I'm going to move on to implementing power-ups. Um, I'm going to try and do it um, in two parts, I think. Um, the first part being to create uh, one or maybe more than one power-up. And then in the next video, I'm going to have a go at creating um, a system for spawning um, random power-ups at different points in the world. So. I might get to do both of those things in this video, but um, if not, at least I'll get to the point where we have um, a power-up uh, entity that we can add to our world. So the way I'm going to do that, I think, um, to start with, I'm going to create a new uh, component. And I think I'll create it here and I'll just call it um, so what I'm going to do, this is a component, remember, so um, something like effect and a power up will be um, an entity that has an effect component, which isn't being used just yet. Um, and then when a player collides with a power up, the power up gives the effect component to the player. And then once the player has an effect component, um, that will have, the reason it's called effect is because it will have some kind of effect on the player, either to um, do things like um, increase the amount of lives, um, make them invincible, um, jump higher, run faster, whatever whatever we choose to, to have as effects or as power-ups in the game. So um, an effect component, um, let's say... Um, it's going to have, um, so there's going to be a, a, a method, a use method so that when a player has an effect, we can choose to use, um, maybe we should call it apply to apply that effect and we'll pass that in. Um, so that will be, you know, setting the lives to be three as an example. Let's um, let's do that one first. Let's create a um, power up initially that that gives the player maximum lives back. Um, so we've got um, a timer. So some things will just be instantaneous, like giving the player more lives will just be a thing that happens once, and so the timer will be zero. But for other things like the ability to run faster or jump higher, it might be that that happens for um, a few seconds or a certain number of frames in the game. Um, so I'll pass the timer in. Um, let's have a sound. And um, exit as well. So, um, so for example, if this apply function sets the um, player's speed, say, to be double the speed or something like that, the exit. Um, I wonder if that's a keyword. Let's call it end. End will be another um, function call that will set um, the player speed back to what it was originally or something like that. Um, so we've got an effect component. And so what I could do now is just to create, um, just like we've got make player, um, make enemy, make coin. Let's add something here called make power up. And um, 
we want to pass in um, what we want to pass in. Um, let's say for now, let's just pass in X and Y as we have for other things like coins and the players. And we want to say, um, in fact, I can copy this. So we create a new entity. Um, let's say a power up is bigger than a coin, but smaller than the player. So maybe 40 by 40 at the X and Y position that we've specified. Um, the animation is just going to be um, We'll need to create a new image. So we'll call it um, invisible. So power up invisible is equal to um, So I'll need to create this image. But then once I've created it, I can put that in there. Um, I'll add it to the idle state. So any power up will just always be in the idle state. That's fine. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore this um, collectible. I think I'm going to keep the coin system separate to the power-up system for now. Um, what I might choose to do later on is just make coins just another power-up and that power-up will just be something that increases the score of the entity that collects it by one or something like that. But um, I think just for simplicity I'll keep the coin collection system as it is. Um, so I'll take that out and I need to add um, dot effect. I'll set it to none now. And I also need to remember um, just to add it into the entity. Um, I need to create this image, this power up invisible. So what I think I'll do is um, I'll create a new image um, and I'll make it, uh, what did I say, 40 by 40. I'm getting confused actually because I think I said that the first one would be, um, let's call this health. So I'll do the health one first. So it's going to set the lives to three. Um, there's no effect there at the moment. But that should be okay. Um, so I need to create this image. So let's pick a colour. Um, So that's the power up. Um, and then what I might do is um, open as a layer a um, platform image. And because it's setting the lives to be three, I might just add this heart image um, and then export as um, I think we said it was power up um, 
underscore health. That's right. And then what I'm going to do in my um, level file, when I create a new level, level one, I'm just going to add um, make power up. It only makes one type of power up at the moment. Um, but I'll set that to be um, So it's something like 300 um, 300 300 but it's 40 so I want to make it two, 260 so it's on the ground. So I'm just going to keep creating I might actually have to create a, a shortcut. Um, but for now, that's fine. Um, ah, so I think what I've done here is that the animation needs to be a list of images. So even though there's only one image, I'll just put it in a list using those square brackets. There we go. So we've got a power up here. Um, doesn't do anything, but at least we've managed to create one. I might move it across a bit. Um, let's say 400 across, just so I don't instantly collect it when I fall onto it, uh, when I fall onto the platform below. So we've now got um, a power up and I just need to add this effect. Um, so it's engine dot effect and I need to pass in um, a function to apply, which I'll do in a minute. A timer is zero because I just want to set the lives to be three once. Interestingly, if I wanted to do something like a thousand frames, that's like in invincibility because it would be constantly setting the lives to a maximum number. Um, but I just want this to top up the number of lives once. Um, the sound, for now I'll just use the coin sound that we already have. Whoops. And end. Um, I don't think we need anything. So we could just say none because I don't need to unset once the effect isn't being applied anymore. We don't need to do anything there. Um, so I'm going to create something here called um, uh, I'll just call it something like set health. And it'll be the set the health of an entity. I'm just going to say um, if entity um, so if I go into the engine, you'll see that the number of lives is in this battle component and it's called lives. So I'm just going to say if entity dot battle, then entity battle, whoops, battle dot lives is equal to three. And I've called this set health, so I can just use that here. So the power up now has an effect, um, and the usage is to call that set health, which will set the lives to be three. Um, it'll play the coin sound, or it will when we implement this. And then when the effect is finished, we don't need to, to do anything, so I'll just set that to none. Um, so I think it might just be worth, um, I don't know why it keeps printing one here actually, so I might just go back, um, find where I'm printing. Ah, it's the number of players, okay. So I'll just get rid of that for now.
Um, so that should be okay. Um, the next thing I need to do is to create a system for dealing with all of this stuff. So um, let's create a power up system. And I just need to create the check and the update entity. So I'll just copy and paste these from the animation. Um, any power up, the power up system wants to work on any entity that has an effect. So it's just if entity.effect is not none, then The power up system wants to deal with that. And update entity. And um, what do we want to do here? We want to do something here for the um, collection of power ups. So this is, for example, when a player collides with um, a power-up entity, then what we want to do is to transfer the effect from the power-up to the player. So what I'm going to do is to say um, for other entity in um, In the entities so so this update entity is, is running on this entity so initially this is going to be a power up entity that has an effect component in it um, so this entity is going to look for all other entities um, and if the other entity is not the entity and the other entity is a player because only players can collect power ups. And I want to stop players stealing effects off each other, although that might be quite interesting. But I think um, entity dot type is not equal to player. So what I don't want to happen is that a player collides with a power up and takes the effect off of it and then another player collides with that player and takes the lives or the effect off of that other player so two things have to collide one of them has to be a player but the other one can't be a player but if that's true then if they're colliding so um, I must have written that somewhere else There. So if the two things are colliding, then the other entity, so this is the player in this case, so this is like um, give the effect to the player. So other entity dot effects is equal to the entity effect. So if the power up has a set lives to three effect and it collides with a player, the player takes that effect from the power up. I could just apply it to the player straight away, but I'm going to give it to the player because later on, if it's something like invincibility or um, increase speed or something like that, then I want the player to have hold of this entity, this effect component for a while. Um, so it's giving the effect component to the player. 
Um, we then want to play a sound. So we can say uh, sound manager play sound. And it would be entity effect. Is it just called sound? Um, yeah, so it's just called sound. So play the sound. And then um, remove the power up. So all this power up system does so far is if any entity that holds a, an effect like a power up collides with a player, then the effect is given to the player, a sound is played and the power ups removed from the world. So the effect isn't applied or anything just yet. So if the player collides with this power up, um, oh, of course, I, I do that every time. So this power up system isn't used anywhere. So um, if I go to my scenes, I'll create one there and then in the update method of the game scene I'll update it. So player and the power up are both there and I don't know if that sound played um, if I go to my sound manager, the sound volume is zero. So I'll put that back. I'll leave the music at zero for now. And I really do need a quicker way of going through these menus. Great. So we've now got a, um, where is it? We've now got a power up system where, um, players can collect power-ups. What I also need this system to do is apply power-up effects for players. So all the time that the, um, the power-up entity is holding that effect, we don't want to do anything with it. But if the entity um, that's holding the effect as a player, then we do. So we want to say entity dot effects dot um, did I call it use? And as part of the use, um, we need to pass in the entity. So I just want to say that is the entity that we're passing in. So that will call use which will set the lives to three on the entity that has the effect. Um, I then want to say timer uh, subtract by one. But then if the timer is less than or equal to zero or less than zero, because it starts at zero, um, 
then I want to say entity.effects is equal to none. But before I do that, um, so this is destroying the power, uh, the effect. So if the effect um, has run out. So if the timer gets to below zero, so it's counting down from whatever we set it to. Um, destroy it, but beforehand um, we want to say um, reset entity if appropriate. So we want to say if um, entity dot effect dot um, did we call it end? Yeah. So if there's an end, which there isn't for this one, um, but if there was one, then I guess we want to just call it. Like that. Okay, so um, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, lose a life, collect the power up, and then where the mouse is just in the top, you should see the lives go back to three if this is working which it's not. Um, effect has no attribute, use. So it's engine line 34. Wonder if I've done that wrong. Um, oh, I've called it apply. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, so set the lives to two, one, and then there we go, back to three. And because the timer is set to zero, I'm guessing um, that the effects is um, short-lived. So let me just um, destroy the effects. If I do destroy the effects, um, I'm just going to print effect destroyed. So I just want to check that it is um, doing that properly. Yeah, so it's used once and then the effects destroyed. Uh, where's that gone? Great. I could try something else actually just to see if I set that to a big number like a thousand. Um, the effect is going to last for a thousand frames. Which means I shouldn't see the um, 
effect destroyed straight away. Lives are set to three. And then hitting the spike doesn't kill me because that effect is still being applied. Um, so that means that everything is working. Great. So we now have a, um, I mean, it's called make power up. It's not really, it's just a make um, health power up, really. That's all it is. So I might say, um, we'll set the type of a power up and then give it an X and Y coordinate. Um, so I need to remember in the level make power up and I'm going to say this is a health power up and I think all I'm going to do is take that string and create a few dictionaries for now that will store the values for the different um, for different types so what I could say is um, how would I do that I'd say if um, so I could do things like say um, power up images is equal to and then say that health links to this I could say um, sounds links health to the coin sound actually I should probably put that first I can then say power up um, effects links health to um, the set health function that we've got power up um, apply and then power up um, end and health um, is set to none. So I think that's everything. So I just need to say um, let's put square brackets around that so it's just one image. And then I can just say power up images for the type. So if I pass in the string health, it will find the power up images for health and it will be a list of um, one image. Um, so the effect is going to be um, Uh, apply so it's going to be power up apply for the type the timer um, let's do the same um, power up effect timer for health is zero There's probably a better way than just having lots of dictionaries here, but um, I don't really mind for now. Um, so that's that. Instead of coin, we're going to type um, power up sounds. Um, I'm going to call that sound. And this is power up 
end. So it just means now that this make power up um, function, I can pass in a type of power up and it will just grab all the information from here and put it in. So if I if I run this, I don't think anything uh, nothing should have changed. So lose a life. And then we've got three again. Great. Um, just get rid of this effect destroyed line. So we've now got a more flexible system that means I should be able to create a different type. Um, so for example, um, we could do something like invisibility. We'll just say invisible, invisible. Um, and we'll link that to power up invisible. So I'll remove this and create. Um, so if I grab that not playing image that I've got um, from the player select screen, I can um, layer scale the layer. There we go. Um, I'll make it 70%. Oh, great. And I'm going to export that as power up invisible. So I've got a new image. Um, I'm going to set the sound for now to just be the same. The applying and ending, actually, we do need to set that. So I'm going to have a set um, set invisible function, pass in the entity. Um, and I'm going to say if entity dot, um, so I'm going to draw um, the image with a lower opacity. So I'm going to say entity dot um, animations dot alpha is equal to 50 or something like that. Um, And then end invisible is just setting it back to 255. And um, if I go to the animations, I'll actually need to create um, alpha and just set it to be 255. Um, and I also need to draw. So I should be able to say um, what do I want to say here? I think I want to say um, I think when I draw um, want to pass an alpha value in and then just say image uh, sets alpha to be the alpha value. So setting the alpha and then in the camera system when I draw the entities Um, I want to say I 
I want to draw um, E dot um, animations dot alpha. So that should work. So power up apply for invisible is now um, set invisible and then end is actually um, end invisible so set invisible sets the alpha to 50 set um, power up end sets it back to 255 so if I create um, instead of a health power up I'm just going to test this with an invisible power up I need to set a time as well if I set that for something like 200 frames so we've got an invisibility um, power up now instead of the health power up Collecting it sets the alpha value of the player lower, but then you can see that end function sets it back to 255. Um, so I could make it... Um, that wasn't long enough really, was it? Let's make it 1,000. So collect the power up player stays almost invisible and then after a thousand frames it should go back to full um, no transparency there we go there is one thing I've just realized I might need to do um, which is that when I reset When I reset a player, I think I need to set um, the alpha back to 255 just in case the level ends when the player's um, almost invisible. I want to put that back. Um, and also, um, no player should start with a power-up at the beginning. So, for example, the invisibility one, if the player has it for a thousand frames, if the level ends and then we start a new level, um, I want to make sure that power-up has gone. So let's just try that one more time. Great, okay, so we've now got um, a power-up system. Uh, we have the ability to um, add new power-ups to a level uh, by type. And I think the next thing to do um, in, in the next video is to extend the power-up system um, just so that they spawn in random places and I might also make it so that there's always um, at least one power-up somewhere in the world at any one time. Maybe if a power-up's collected then there's a bit of a delay and then another one appears somewhere. So I'll do that in the next video. Thank you.